Five o'clock tonight, the abusive ex fiance of a Jacksonville Navy chief petty officer is heading to prison for her murder. Andrea Washington filed a restraining order against Danny Beard in September of 2018. 11 days later, he killed the mother of three at her home. Our Andrew Badillo was in the courtroom as Washington's friends and family told the judge how her death impacted them. The judge heard today from Andrea Washington's twin brother. He said that she was the one who organized family gatherings and made it a point to check in on others. Andrea Washington served her country in the Navy and raised three boys. Her family remembering her as someone dedicated to helping those around her. Our family has many fond memories of watching Andrea mature into a sister, mother, aunt, and sailor over the years. We are proud of the strong woman that she had become to provide for her three sons. While Avery Washington spoke, friends and family listened closely in the courtroom. To this day, I battle with my own troubles as a direct result of her untimely death. This crime shattered our family to its very foundation. Several Navy sailors wearing purple, representing the fight to end domestic violence, shared memories of Andrea in the same room as her killer. He robbed her sailors of a great chief, and he robbed the Navy's chief's mess of a born leader and mentor. He robbed three young boys of their mother. For what? After victim impact statements, there was one more person who spoke. I just want to give my apologies to the family for the heart and the pain I put them through. I didn't want to ask them for forgiveness. Beard giving a six-second apology before exiting the courtroom, sentenced to 30 years behind bars. As Washington's family and friends wept. This crime shattered our family to its very foundation. Our chief, Andrew Washington, is watching over us, and we will never forget. Beard must serve a minimum of 25 years. He has 30 days to appeal his sentencing. Outside the Duval County Courthouse, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News, on your side.